Alright, chat. Today we got the Ox Queen dribble tutorial, man. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the skills because you gotta make sure you got the same skills as me. So, look. Now, right here, this is the only one that really matters. And that's which one you choose. Whether it's leg to back dribble, step back, or back dribble. Now, if you really wanna be, you know what I'm saying, the best ISO guard with Ox Queen. You gotta go with back dribble. One, you can spam it. Two, it's the most effective. Three, you're gonna get an ankle breaker off this move. And that's something you're not getting with everything else. Like this is going, you know, it's gonna open up so many ways for your scoring, bro. Whether you, you know, you're trying to hit a deep three, whether you're in the mid range trying to get back to the three, it really don't matter what you're doing, bro. This move gonna set you up for hezzies, all types of stuff, bro. Trust me, this the one you wanna get. You need to get back dribble. I seen people who step back and leg through back dribble. And yeah, some of them could look nice, but they're not as effective as back dribble. So go ahead and equip back dribble. Mine is missing two levels, but I'm still nice. So, you know, since I know what I'm doing, then it's really easy for me. I could do it with level one. But yeah, once I get it maxed, <laughs> GG's, man. It's gonna be even worse for you. Now let's go ahead and look at the skill list. So for dribbling, she got crossover, stop drive, back dribble, and side hop step. So those are the four ones we're gonna be working on, as well as some other moves, you know, that I know. But let's go ahead and get straight to the basics. Now crossover, which I really can't believe some of y'all don't know how to do. You literally want to move the left stick in the left or right direction and just tap circle. It's that simple. Some of y'all don't even know how to do this. You know, look at that. I got the hand cam up for y'all. Some of y'all really be out here wiggling the left stick and you didn't even know all you had to do was tap circle and go left or right. That's crazy. I bet y'all be flicking the right stick, huh? But let's go ahead and move on to the next thing, which is stop drive. Now, after coming off a crossover, you want to release everything. Don't touch nothing. Do not hit circle again. Don't move your left stick. Just let it go. Just like you see I did right there. What you want to do, crossover, bring it back to the center, or just let it go. So let's say I do two crossovers. Boom. I let it go. Stop drive. No matter how many I do, all I have to do is let it go. This is how you be able to just, you know, spam dribble. This is how you get infinite crossovers right here. You can literally just keep doing crossovers over and over and nobody can stop you. Just by simply learning how to do that stop drive. All right, so the next move, which I told y'all to equip is back dribble. I'm telling you, y'all seen how effective this, this is with Noah. It's nice on Ox Queen too. Like, you know, since they, they buffed it, you can spam it. After every crossover, you pretty much can go ahead and back dribble. Like, this is another way you can just infinite dribble. So I could stop drive into the back dribble. Like, there's so many ways you can go with this. And if you're in the mid range, somebody's gonna think you're shooting a three. Boom, you're wide open. And that's green, like. It's, it's just that simple. You just gotta really learn how to cook up, you know, work on your combos. You're gonna be nice, bro. I'm telling you. As long as you follow in the tutorial, bro, you're gonna be nice. Like, stop drive is the way to go. Also, man, what y'all wanna do is y'all wanna go ahead and equip that, that P buff, too. If you got Ox Queen Dry Speed P buffs, that is gonna help you a lot. Honestly, you see how fast I'm dribbling. That P buff's tough. Like it is definitely a must have. It's fun to use. It's effective because you're gonna be dribbling so fast. People not gonna be able to keep up with you. So it's gonna help all your moves. But yeah, the next move is side hop step. So if you don't know how to do that, whatever direction you're going in, you wanna hold triangle. Regardless, coming off the crossover, you hold triangle, just like you see. So I'ma just go straight to the left off a crossover, boom. 
You could also switch it up. You can go into a crossover, then stop drive, and go in the other direction with it. So like, let's put it all together. So we're gonna do a crossover, stop drive, into a back drive, crossover, and then side hop step. So crossover, stop drive, back dribble, crossover, side hop step, boom. And that's me putting all four moves together right there. It's really that simple. You already know, like, one of my favorite little size ups or, you know, just starter dribbles. I like to come out with a double cross. And then, like, you know, sometimes that might be just what I needed. That double cross, they broke. And I could speed boost to the three. Open shot. Or sometimes, that's just what I like to open my dribbling up with. A double cross. And then that's when I'm going to just start freestyling really start freestyling on you and do whatever it is that I want to do so I know y'all see that walk back I'm doing literally after you do the crossover boom that is that easy y'all see me do it all the time look at this I'm speed boosting back look how fast that is look how fast that is it's a move that's very effective, bro. Look at that. Now look. With that and back dribble, it's going to look like you're doing a hezzy, bro. Because back dribble, that already look like you're going to pull up for a shot. But you end up doing a crossover. But with that spin back, boom. You think I'm running back to go hit that three. Hit you with another crossover. And, you know, that's usually a hezzy. You got your opponent jumping. You got him reaching, you got him doing something, bro. You know, you're going to come off there with an ankle breaker. So, you really just got to work on, you know, getting your combos down. Learn how to cook up. Honestly. And, hey, man, nothing is wrong with coming over there to cook up Jeffrey, bro. Nothing is wrong with it. Now, Jeffrey do got locked down defense. So, honestly... It wouldn't be bad if you played against him. You feel me? Like, this is going to get you right. Show you not to, you know, spam. Watch what you're doing. You got to be careful with every crossover. Because other than that, he's going to bump you. He might knock you down. You know? So, you just got to be careful. So, look. I hit him with two crossovers. Back dribble. And there we go. Now I'm really cooking. Notice how every time I hit him with a crossover, that's when I hit R2 so I can get that speed boost. Look at this. I'm telling you. And you just start freestyling, bro. Do whatever it is you want to do. I said he's not going to let that happen. So you got to be careful. And this is, you know, it's kind of kind of prepare you for an actual player, though. You know? Look at that. He's reaching. You got to teach Jeffrey a lesson. Really show him something. Like I said, he's going to play lockdown D. But once you find those, you know, little cheesy moves. Or, like I said, you see how I hit him with that double cross. It's effective, bro. Now, with Ox Queen, she's different anyway, since she can hit from deep. So, you know, you're going to be cooking people way out here. So, you know, work on your long range ISO way out here. Just work on that, too. You got to remember, she got range, some crazy range. So, if I'm open, you're going to be punished, bro. You feel me? gotta think about that like I say after every crossover that's when that step back is gonna be back bro. I may have worded that wrong but like that's when your step back is gonna be ready so <laughs> after every crossover boom it's already charged up and like I said you could just spam that but you gotta watch out watch how I freestyle him watch this just too tough, bro. 
And yeah. Now, obviously, he, he's going to guard you harder than the actual players are. Which is the thing, like... So, if you can really, you know, cook Jefferson, that's going to help you a lot, man. It really is. Because he's not going to play, bro. Now, I know you can hit him with a simple, you know, left, right. You can just keep spamming that. Get an ankle break every possession. But, you know, try, try to mix it up. Because this might work on, you know, it might work on actual players sometimes. For me, yeah. But that's just because that's me. You know, I'm nice. People already expect me to do all this dribbling anyway. So, you know, they're going to guard me tight. So, like I said, double cross. Uh, bang. That may just be what you need. Or if you double cross, that can open up your freestyle. And look how I just freestyle him. Do whatever moves I want to do. I could go straight to the rack, you know, I could take the three. I could do whatever. But look, man, these people right here, these obviously, this is the nicest, you know, ISO three point that you can get right here. Let's just be honest. If you go with three normal movement speeds, then, you know, that's not bad, but you're not gonna be able to shoot. Uh, you, you, you know, you're gonna brick a lot with, with that. So like, let's say I went with this, bro, ankle breaker duration. Now this will be a tough build, but this is only gonna be for your slashers. If I threw normal movement speed, that's only for my slashers. That's all I could do is, you know, I walk fast and I dribble fast. So I'm really only gonna be able to go to the paint, you know, maybe occasionally hit mid range, just off the fact that, you know, my character stat high enough. Uh, but besides that, if you're not at least running Jason three-point buff, uh, I don't really see you hitting threes. But yeah, this is the best setup to go with if you want your shooting guards, you know. If you want your Ox Queen to be nice at ice on, you know, be able to walk fast, drive fast, and be able to shoot the ball, go with this. Hey, man, Joy City, man. You know, add, pet, add a drive speed to a pet. I would like to see that, you know, because... That honestly be tough, bro. You know, a dry speed pet. On top of all the dry speeds you got. Imagine, you know, a hundred plus dry speed on a character. How crazy that's gonna be. But yeah, man, that right there is gonna do it for the dribble tutorial, man. Let me know if that helped in the comments. Who should I do next? Thinking about going ahead and dropping that Joey dribble tutorial next. But uh if y'all got anybody else before that. You know, like a Chloe or something like that. I'll get on that too, man. Hey, man, hope the dribble tutorial helped you out. Hopefully now you out here cooking, getting ankles, you feel me? Getting some nice clips, man, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.